Now then, welcome everyone to my next playthrough. It's another GTA playthrough, and this time I'm playing a total conversion mod for GTA 3, for Rally Redemption. So we have a new storyline, new characters, and new missions. The events in this mod occur at the same time as the storyline in the main GTA 3 game. We're playing as Giovanni Ferelli, he's Sonny Ferelli's son, and Giorgio Ferelli's nephew. So without further ado, let's get started. Start new game. I'll explain things in a bit more detail very shortly. And of course, I'm going to play on hard difficulty. Yeah, soldier or boss. Boss, of course. That conversation with a local union head didn't take long. At least that's good. Hey, and Mike wasn't even late for the banquet today. And yes, Mike Lips Ferelli from the main game. Hey, Giovanni, get in. Getting up. Hey, how are you, Mike? Just fine. Did you catch today's news, though? Callahan Bridge got blown to shit. Hold on, I'm going to turn the music off. Right, let's go. Hey Giovanni, wait a bit. Giorgio told me we should check some things first. Hmm? What is he hiding? A corpse in the trunk? What? Nah, it's much better. He got you a new apartment near the subway. I guess that's neat considering my old apartment is now covered in blood. Haha. <laughs> By the way, a big, big shout out to Rick Dark Player for drawing my attention to this mod. Thanks very much, dude. It's on the second floor, apartment 13C. Got it? Of course. Now give me those keys. Fuck face. Don't add your own lines. So where are we going now? To that whore Misty? Jesus, you treat all women that way? Let's go to the cafe and report back. Return to the bistro. Yep. Marco's bistro, or St. Mark's bistro, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Let's go and see Giorgio. Enter, of course. You won't hear anything else from the Union's boss. Well done, but that's not all for today. <clears throat> Never any time off, I swear. What's in there? Hey, relax, Giovanni. One cafe hasn't paid up for today yet. Can you handle it? That's kind of concerning. Maybe the Leone's preparing something. Right, so as you probably figured, we're working for the Ferelli Mafia family, not the Leone family for once. So again, this mod has new storylines, so a new storyline, new missions, new characters. Um, all the uh, pickups are in different places around the city now. Um, there's 56 new hidden packages. Get this, get this bat. 50 new rampages. 50 new unique stunt jumps. And there's new uh, RC toys missions and off-road missions. I've not managed to find all the side missions just yet. But I'd like to find out where they all are for this playthrough. There we go. Uh, I guess I'll do the next mission for Giorgio right now. Interruption. Hello there. Our family is struggling with a couple of brand new problems. You talking about gun problems now, Giorgio? Yes, but well, I already know who can help us solve them. The Diablos are pushing guns in their neighbourhood. How about we take free samples? Well, it doesn't seem too hard. Give me a minute and it will be done. And by the way, during this uh, mod, you will see quite a few familiar faces from the main game. Mm -hmm. I 
As far as I know, uh, completing the uh, vehicle side missions, such as uh, Taxi Driver and Paramedic and all that, uh, give you the same rewards. I'm not sure why I went that way at all. And I think the hidden packages still give you the same rewards, but because there's um, only 56 this time around, the rewards are given to you at earlier stages. And there's new sound effects as well. I'm looking forward to uh, unlocking the Fight Club because if you can complete that, you'll uh, you'll you'll be able to uh, keep your weapons and money if you get busted. I wasn't supposed to tell you that. Remember, we don't talk about Fight Club. Oh yeah, there's body armor. Across the road from the top of the stairs near the ammunition store. There we go. Later on in the story, a coach spawns here for a side mission. Right, let's get that armor and then I'll save. Yeah, it's just in this alcove here. Remember, all the pickups are in new locations. And as you can see, the uh, armor counter is now blue and not green. Slot 8 today. And the health counter is uh, red, not orange. To make it look uh, similar to the HUD in Liberty City Stories. Right, next mission, Spicy Jude. Hey Giovanni, we got a problem. Our regular pimp broke his arm and he can't work today. Why don't you fill in for him? Damn. Well, I just hope it's not a hard job. I never wanted to be a pimp. Remember Giovanni, it's for the family. Right. I need a girl real quick over at St. Mark's. So Claude's pager is bright red, Giovanni's pager is dark red. And I remember when I first started playing this mod, it kind of reminded me of uh, my Frosted Winter playthrough back in 2015. This mod right here. Ferelli Redemption is fucking awesome. It's, uh, in my opinion, much better than Frosted Winter. Pick up another girl for the client. Hey, I really need someone at Hepburn Heights. Oi, piss off. Stop. Remember, it's not San Andreas. You have to be right in the centre of that marker. And yes, there's new uh, character models as well. Man, what's this bastard doing? A Leone pimp is stealing our clients near the hospital. Teach him some, teach him some manners. Is he gonna get out? Yes. Oh, he's got a fucking shotgun. Just like the pimp from the uh, pump action pimp. 
we might have a problem at St. Mark's, pal. Uh, don't wreck the car now. Oh, where's his gun? Never mind. I'm done with the job in Hepburn Heights. Where are you? By the way, I apologise if I'm not able to uh, read out the lines of dialogue in this mod because sometimes they disappear too fast. It's hard to keep up. I think it's kind of strange that you're picking up girls from Luigi's club, but Luigi works for the Leones, and you're with the Fidelis. Seems a wee bit odd to me. Well, if you're not happy, go make your own GTA 3 mod. Touché. Right, I'll save again. Come on. Yeah, I must say that blue marker is a wee bit... Uh, dodgy at times. Doesn't always uh, register when you're standing in it. By the way, I know there's an M16 somewhere. It's Giorgio. I get the M16. Someone blew up Mike Ferrelli's car with him in it. Damn. Oh, hello. I've finally found a unique stunt jump in this mod. Can't believe he's gone. Ha! Ah, didn't even get credit for it. Never mind. And if you look closely, you'll notice that the M16 in this mod has a smaller clip size. Yeah, only 25 rounds. I think in the main game it's 60. So that's less than half. Also, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, changing camera view trick in vehicles doesn't clear traffic so, e so easily. Right, Eastern Brother. Hey Giovanni, I'm in a hurry, so listen, listen closely. A Chinese rat got some info about a deal coming up. He can meet you at the junkyard. Talk to him about it. See you around. Right. This car's pretty beaten up, so I'll take the Mafia Sentinel instead. <clears throat> By the way, I remember in the Frosted Winter mod, you, at one point in the story, you have to buy and complete asset properties. And it's quite tricky to make money in the Frosted Winter mod, but thankfully there's none of that in uh, this mod. Right, we have a mission that's very similar to Blowfish right here. You found a note written in Chinese, a cut off finger, and a warning. This truck can blow up if you bump into things while driving it, or try to leave it. Get to Joey's garage, he might know how to defuse this bomb. Yeah. Just like uh, the Luigi situation that I mentioned earlier on. It's kind of weird that we're driving to Joey's garage to defuse a bomb. Because he works for the Leones. He's Don Salvatore's son. I was going to say, probably better to take it to eight balls instead, but I think he's, uh, I think he's with the Leones as well. Or I have a feeling he only does business with the Leones. Not the Ferrellis. But again, at the end of the day, it's not my mod.
Hey, Joey, I need some help. Good. Now show the notes to, to the triads to translate it. So what, I'll take the Idaho. Yes, it's a crap car, but it's slower than that piece of trash. Pun definitely intended. We go to the basketball court. Yeah, just over here. Some trials on this court. Show them your note. Yeah, it's the one in red. I think he's the boss. Hey, are you with the triads? Depends on who's asking. Giovanni Ferelli, I want you to translate a note. Giovanni Ferelli, I am Lee, leader of the Liberty City Triads. Nice to meet you. Can you translate that note? Looks like some major spank deal is going to happen soon. The note wasn't finished. Where do you get it from? Some inner sources. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Uh, is that a Triad fish van? These things are quite fast, actually. Oh, it's called a belly in this mod. I didn't know that. Yeah, this is my first time driving a triad fish van, or in this case, a belly, in the Ferelli Redemption mod. Tell you what, I'll grab a shotgun from the cop car. Some extra five shotgun runs. Now, I've uh, entered these cop cars quite a few times in this mod, and not once have they been locked. Unlike the main game, which is great. Alright, uh, will I save again or do the next mission? Oh. So I'll go s save. Hey, it's Lee, can you come to my place? We've got some stuff to talk about. Dot dot dot. Dot dot fucking dot. Serial investigation. Giovanni, I asked some slackers about that deal, and... You want to tell me that the Leone family wants to get to it as well, Giorgio? Yep, yeah, seems like we're at war again. Did you hear that Mike died? Really? Shit. Really should squeeze that deal to keep the family afloat then. You're right. Let's visit the docks to learn about the date of the deal. My man, the local taxi company, knows a way to do it. And I thought Giovanni already knew that Mike was dead. He got a pager message about it. Right. There's a hidden package in here, by the way. Since I'm here, I'll pick it up. Hello, Giorgio Frelli sent me here. What's your name, son? Uh, Giovanni. Oh, so you're that guy with the big balls he was talking about. Seems like, uh, yeah, I guess I am. So what should I do? Take that earphone and get in the van outside. You can like what I prepared for you. Huh? By the way, I apologise if I'm speaking too fast. Because again, the subtitles disappear quite fast. It's hard to keep up. Do you hear me, big guy? Yeah, clearly. Good, so our goal is to set up bugs all over the docks and... Excuse me? They'll catch me in a matter of seconds. Relax, they'll just think you're inspecting the port. Head to the huge tanker first. Well, let's take a risk. And it paid off. 
I've got checkpoints to drive through around Portland Harbour in just a minute. And one of them is actually on the tanker. Drive through the locations I've sent to your page to plant the bugs. And you drop them from your van. Got it, pasta boy? Oi. Yeah, yeah, take it easy, pal. I ain't stupid. Right. About the side missions, I think I've only, uh, so far I've only found two of the new RC Toys missions. There's one in Portland that involves destroying Diablo Stallions, and one in Staunton that involves destroying Yardy Lobos. Awesome. The only end from the port. Seems like some good wants to get rid of you. Is he gonna do it again? Yep, yeah, there he goes. <laughs> he did that when I played this mission for the first time last night. Yep, yeah, as you've probably f figured out already, it didn't take me that long to complete all the story missions in this mod. Thank God I'm working from home at the moment, and I'm dead quiet. And yes, the uh, police scanner lady sounds a bit more clear this time around. Over ten grand already. Well, what do you expect? It's piss easy to make money in this game. You get money for doing almost nothing. Yeah, you know, one off-road challenge that I have found is uh, taking the trash out, which requires you to collect checkpoints around the junkyard, you know, with the crusher. And the vehicle is, of course, a Patriot. Right, time to work for the triads. Which I thought I would never do in GTA 3. Irrespective of mods. By the way, there's a mission that requires you to find an ice cream van. Luckily there is one part at eight balls. Right, taking out the tricksters. Hey Giovanni, Lee's really busy right now, he's got a job for you. Check the note at the door, do it and you'll be able to talk to him face to face. Destroy three Leone Sentinels. So this is very similar to taking out the laundry from the main campaign. But this time we use a shotgun to take out Mafia Sentinels. Oh, great. Oh, wait. Fire. Oof. Fucking hell. Right, uh, I'll grab the cab. I'm still alive. I'm not in handcuffs yet. Get out of the way, everybody. Three stars. Wonderful. Not. Keep forgetting to mention there's new uh, radio stations with this mod as well. We've got the Liberty Jam. I think that just plays rap music. On Retrovision, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's um, Double Clef FM, but it's renamed and it's got new music tracks. Then again, all the radio stations in this mod have new mu music tracks now. No, I'll kill you. 
when you're not so tough when you're dead and miss your shots as well. Ooh, okay, I'll give you that. Ooh. By the way, when I played this... <coughs> fucking hell. When I played this mission yesterday, the game crashed when I tried to uh, push the car off a cliff down to Portland Beach. Hold on. I'm out of stamina. Drive, go away, officer. Right, I'll leave the car here. I'll take it out with a shotgun. And avoid taking myself out in the process. Might be an idea. Pee off. Haven't you got criminals to catch? Oh, wait. I should probably buy some Uzi ammo from Ammunition. I'll take out the Sentinel first. Don't get rammed into the water, whatever you do. Right, if I'm nice and careful, I'll sink it in the water. Alternatively, just use the shotgun to blow it to bits. I'm trying to remember what the next mission involves. Ah, yeah, these get to the payphone in Chinatown. I think out of all the missions in this mod, the subtitles during the payphone missions disappear the quickest. If that makes sense. I'll quickly save. Oi! No, you piss off. I've got a better cab than you. I'll save again just so I can see. Fog is rolling in. Fog and night time are a terrible combination. I guess I'll do the payphone mission, first of all. Number one flow, or zero one flow, whatever. Hello, is this Giovanni Ferelli? And who are you? We're an organisation trying to make the world a better place. Former politician Vincent Grubb needs to be eliminated. He's eating up punk noodles right now. He's waiting for the chauffeur. We know he stored his Esperanza in an alleyway nearby. Get to and head to the cafe. The target will get in the car. Drive him to my people at the docks and then park the car nearby. Right. This is kind of similar to uh, Mr. Black's missions in Vice City. Ah, this alleyway. Look at behind Triple X mags. That brings back bad uh, six stars playthrough memories. That was until I managed to find a strategy for that mission. Yeah, big and veiny. Jesus, took you long enough. Wait, who are you? Hey, somebody help me! Please excuse my terrible voice acting. Oh, fuck. Using this uh, same car in the next phone mission. Park the car in the docks. 
I'm already here. And by the way, no imports and exports in this mod. Dead simple. When I've completed several GTA games with six stars, four stars is a piece of piss. Get to the payphone at the docks. Brown threat. Sources say the CEO of Head Radio wants to sell the listeners information. We can't leave it like that. Deal with the scum as fast as you can. Use the Esperance from the last job to mix up your trail. Blah, blah, blah. No need to feel down. Tell you what, you can pause to read that. I can't be arsed. That was way too fast. I'll get the Karuma to get there faster because I'm a lazy bastard. By the way, brown threat. That's what happens when you fart too hard, or too much. Okay. Quack. It's been a while. Here's a big duck, quack quack. You were thinking I died, big surprise. Oh god. Oh, from what I remember, there's a few guards to deal with before I deal with the manager. Hey, who's this guy? Boys, get rid of him. Get him. Kill that psycho. Sorry, wrong mission and wrong game. Are you for real? Yeah, last time I checked. I'm a real boy. My nose just grew. Where are we going? Will you really let me live? Oh, sorry, I'm awake now. I'm awake now. Right, park your car near the closest payphone. So we're dropping a dime on this motherfucker. Right. Police, I've seen something really suspicious. Good, now hide in Missy's apartment. Another scumbag off the streets. You've got a job, you can afford a new pair of shoes. Bitch. Now scram. Or in this case, shoe. Right, it's been a while since I saved. Let's do that right now. Ping. Pinga. Snooping as usual, I see. You fish fondling fruitcake. I beg your fucking pardon. Right, back to Roast Peking Duck to speak to Lee. The pitfall. Giovanni, the cops got me pinned down. Help me out. I'm behind the hospital. Well, probably be an idea to get a quicker car than this shit heap. I can't remember if you have to lose the cops or not during this mission. I'll take the cop car simply because it's faster. If I have to grab cop bribes, I will. I know where some of them are in Portland in this mod. 
Right. Oh. Corpse, where? Ah. I'm pretty sure there's uh, one mission in Portland in which you lose ah your weapons. And if I'm not mistaken, that's the only mission in the game in which that happens. Get him to the cafe. Oi. She's the emergency services in this mod are fucking liabilities. They're supposed to be doing their fucking jobbies in the toilet. That is quite enough of that talk. And that's quite enough of that shitty driving. Please, no more toilet jokes. Thanks for saving my ass, man. You can come to me anytime, okay? Save again, and then I'll continue. And because it's bugging me, I'll get a quick refill of armor too. Uh, yeah, it's in this alcove next to the yeah the dry cleaners. I think the only weapon I've not used in this mod yet is uh, Molotovs and also a rocket launcher. I managed to pick up a rocket launcher from a criminal when I was playing Vigilante. Then I got an unhandled exception I couldn't keep it. Yep, the unhandled exceptions are back everybody. Oh, and I keep forgetting to say this mod actually comes with silent patch and widescreen fix. The Barbarossa. Hello big man, these Leones, they want a war. First their goons destroy my vans, then they organise a cop trap. Now they're attacking my fish factory, defend it at all costs. I swear to god, that fucking fish factory is cursed. Because it gets destroyed in Liberty City stories as well. And then again in this game. Well, it gets destroyed in the main GTA 3 game. And it gets damaged in. Yeah, in the. No, that's right. I haven't got grenades, I'm going to have to be careful. What weapons have they got? Uh, one's got a shotgun, one has an Uzi. I might be able to shoot him in the... Never mind. Got him now. It's the ship boxes again, everybody. Also, Oof. now this mission reminds me of Hose the Hose from Vice City Stories. And this time you have to aim the water cannon properly. Thank God for conveniently placed fire trucks. One quick scoosh of the water cannon, and each fire goes out immediately. Right, um, 
Um, that's it. Good job, the factory is now safe. And yes, that squeaky brake sound has replaced the uh, notification noise from the main game. Ah, that's that coach side mission that I told you about a while ago. My friends call me coach. I'll do it after I've uh, done the mission in which you lose your weapons. I can't remember which one that is though. Has that armour come back by the way? Let's take a look. Let's check out how you did today and let's take a look. It's not back. I can't believe it. Is that the best you can do? I don't think so. A Class F licence. Ooh, it's been a while since I played Crazy Taxi. It's decoy, back to Chinatown. You stay the fuck put, manana. I don't want you getting yourself lost. Max Payne, oh dear. Very soon you'll find out exactly why this mission is called Max Payne. Okay, let's pay these Leone pricks a visit. My boys found out that one of their veterans is hanging out near the drugstore. Follow him to his nest. And then show these Mafia goons some real Chinese revenge. Have your eyes been checked? No, always brown. Ha, oh, ha, oh, ha. Oh. I can see said the blind man. He wants to attack you. Well, fuck him very much. What's he got? Of course a shotgun. Looks like he was going to the bank. Head to the bank. After I grab his shotgun. And off we go. So we actually get to go inside the bank. And they just uh, reused the bank interior from Vice City for this. Yep, El Banco Corrupto Ground. Or Grand, whatever. Hello? Anybody out there? Look around in the bank. Only difference is, I think the floor is different, and there's uh, more objects, yeah, such as these desks here. Hello, Mr. Giovanni. Giovanni. And that, boys and girls, dicks and bastards, is why this mission is called Max Payne. I'll tell you something, Max Payne is a fucking difficult game. OHKO playthrough of Max Payne, when? <laughs> After you. And yes, we just killed Mickey Hamfists. Oh hell. Come on. There we go. Mickey's dead and so are all of his veterans. He was a good soldier and a good friend when things were different. Hmm. Interesting. And what does he mean by different? We may never know. Excuse me. It's Giorgio. Come to my place. Oh. Another message. Congratulations on falling for the Leone's trap. Some madman just destroyed our fish factory. This is crazy. So I was trying not to run people over in case I get a wanted start.
That guy was quite the mother trucker, wasn't he? Speaking of trucks, I don't want that one anymore. Simply because it's a truck. I'd rather have something faster, but that'll do. Right. Come on, blue marker. You're supposed to be doing your job, and I'm going to save again, so I can see a bit better. Alright, let's go see what Uncle wants. 